hello everybody and welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be showing you how to generate your own x509 digital uh, certificates so for that i uh, expect that you are familiar with x509 and that you are also familiar with the public key algorithms for instance rsa or ecdsa um, so for this tutorial we will need the open ssl command line tool so if you don't have open ssl installed uh, go ahead and uh, install it so if you are on Linux or on Mac you uh, should have uh, open SSL installed by default um, in your system so uh, we will use this tool called x509 utility which is actually developed uh, by me so this tool is basically uh, just a wrapper around the uh, open uh, SSL uh, command line so if you use the open SSL command line for generating uh, your certificates so you will uh, basically write like four or or, th or five commands to generate your certificates and you have to remember some uh, yeah I would say complicated uh, open SSL um, options so basically this command will uh, make generating certificates easier in, in just two steps so um, this utility consists of uh, mainly two scripts so the first script is for generating uh, the certificate uh, authorities that are needed for signing um, the endpoint certificate and the second one for uh, yeah creating and signing the endpoint certificate which could be uh, whether a client or a server certificate so um, this is what the first script will do so first we need to generate the uh, root CA key pair then generate uh, obviously the self-signed root certificate so the third step is to create uh, the uh, intermediate CA um, key pair then create the intermediate CA certificate request and finally sign the uh, intermediate certificate using the um, root CA's uh, private key so if you are wondering why uh, we are using here an intermediate ca so basically um, this is uh, a best practice so this allows keeping the root ca uh, private key as offline so as much as as possible so it's it's more secure to use an intermediate certificate authority that signs the certificates on behalf of um, of the root uh, certificate authority so um, yeah once we uh, finish executing the first script which will do uh, these five steps then the second step is to um, create a signed certificate so first we have to generate a key pair for our uh, endpoint and then create a certificate signing request then uh, we sign the uh, endpoint certificate with the intermediate ca um, private key yeah and finally the last step is to create um, a chain of trust um, certificate so which will be the concatenation of the um, endpoint certificate and the intermediate certificate so there is a mistake here it's written root certificate but uh, it should be normally intermediate um, I will fix um, this mistake and update the um, readme file so let's go ahead now and try out the utility so first step is to clone the repository so I will copy the link then open a terminal then git clone the link okay so now go inside the folder okay so we have now the repository um, in our file system so as I said previously the first step is to um, run the create certificate authorities uh, script so I will go to the readme and copy paste this command okay so the first option is the root uh, CA configuration file which is already uh, provided uh, in the repository the second option is the intermediate uh, CA configuration file which is already uh, there and the third option is the signature algorithm which could be 
uh, RSA, ECDSA, or ED25519. And the last option is um, the validity, which you can see here, uh, 3,700. So the validity is in days. So this is like around uh, 10 years. Um, let's run the script. So uh, the root CA key pair is generated. Then uh, now generating the um, self-signed root certificate authority. So you have to enter here some info about the country name. By default, it's DE. So I will keep it DE. By default, the country is uh, Deutschland, which basically means Germany. Uh, locality name, I will keep it empty. Organization name, by default, I will keep it root CA. Unit name, I will keep it empty. Common name, root CA. Email address, empty also. So now the root, the intermediate CA key pair is generated. And then um, the second step was to generate the uh, CSR, this certificate signing request, and now signing the CSR. So these are the information uh, for the uh, intermediate um, CA certificate. So country DE, Deutschland, options. So I keep pressing enter. So then uh, type yes, and then here, yes. So now uh, we have the um, two uh, CAs created. So the second step is to sign the um, endpoint certificate. So I will copy paste again the second command and run it. So uh, the options here are the cert name. So you provide the name of your certificate, which in this case server as an example and you have to provide the configuration file of the intermediate certificate authority as uh, as um, i said previously the endpoint certificate will be signed by the intermediate uh, ca and not by the root um, the role here this this option uh, could take uh, whether a server or a client so at, uh, in this case, we are generating a server certificate. So signature algorithm, it's the same option as the previous script and the validity in days, which is around um, one year. So you uh, enter the uh, information of the server certificate here. So Deutschland. So this is not the intermediate CA. So I will write the organization name, for example, server, no unit name, the common name. I will put server.com, for example, email address, I will not provide one, yes, and yes. Okay, so now we have our endpoint certificate um, generated. So I will show you now the output of the utility. So in the search folder, we will find the um, root CA certificate. Um, so in the intermediate search folder, we will find the intermediate uh, CA certificate, the server uh, certificate, and the server chain certificate, which basically consists of the concatenation of the uh, server certificate and the intermediate certificate. So um, let's try now to um, verify the correctness of our certificates. So. I will use OpenSSL to verify uh, the intermediate certificate with the root uh, certificate. So OpenSSL, there is verify option, verify, so then there is the CA file option and provide our root certificate authority here, so which is insert and then uh, cacert.pem and then we provide the certificate that we want to uh, verify which is basically in intermediate cert and then intermediate cert.pem so as you can see the um, intermediate certificate is verified with the root ca public key so now we will verify also the server certificate but not with the root of course because it's signed with the intermediate um, CA. So open SSL, verify. 
um, my CA file is um, the intermediate cert and then this is the um, intermediate CA certificate and then um, the server certificate which is in intermediate um, cert and server certificate so I am missing one option here it is parcel parcel chain yeah so if you are verifying with uh, an intermediate certificate and with uh, not a root self-signed certificate so you have to provide this uh, option otherwise if you um, remove it so you will get an open SSL error so I will remove it to show you yeah so it's basically will will look for a root certificate authority which which is not available in in this case so that's why you have to add um, this option so um, that's all uh, I hope that you um, understand how to to use the utility so thank you for watching and see you in another video